This video will cover the topic, Solving a Value Mixture Problem Using a Linear Equation. What types of problems would we expect for this topic? This topic is about solving problems in which a total amount of two things is known, but the numbers of individual items are not. Let's take a look at an example. At the movie theater, child admission is $5.90 and adult admission is $9.30. On Thursday, 150 tickets were sold for a total sale of $1,177.40. How many adult tickets were sold that day? That's a lot of information. How do I know what to do with all of it? Let's start by identifying a few things. Our ultimate goal is to find out how many adult tickets were sold on Thursday, so we should assign a variable to the number of adult tickets sold. Let's say that x equals the number of adult tickets sold. Now, since we know that the total number of tickets sold was 150, how would we represent the number of child tickets sold? Well, if the total number of tickets sold is 150, and the number of adult tickets sold is x, then the number of child tickets sold would be 150 minus x. Great job. Let's move on to the next part. To find the sales of adult tickets, we need to multiply the number of adult tickets sold, x, by the adult admission price. $9.30. To find the sales of child tickets, we need to multiply the number of child tickets sold, 150 minus x, by the child admission price, $5.90. Since we know the total sales on Thursday were $1,177.40, we can add the sales for child tickets and the sales for adult tickets and set it equal to the known total sales. Since we only have one variable in this equation, we can now solve for x. We'll start by distributing 5.90 to the 150 and the negative x. We can now combine like terms by adding negative 5.90x plus 9.30x to get 3.40x, and we can subtract 885 from both sides so that we get the x term by itself. Now we can divide both sides by 3.40, and we get that x equals 86. Since we defined earlier that x equals the number of adult tickets sold, this answer tells us that 86 adult tickets were sold on Thursday. Okay, I think I understand. So when completing these problems, we first identify what the question wants us to find, and define our variable. Then using the information given to us in the problem, we set up a linear equation to solve for our variable and reach our final answer. That's exactly right. Great work.